Hi, we're at TU Automotive Detroit 2015 and today I'm meeting Kate Roberts, Director of Global Partnerships at SIPCAR. Hi Kate, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, firstly, would you explain what you do, what's your role within SIPCAR? Yeah, my role at SIPCAR is to really connect the company with external partners. So everything, um, partners to help us drive member acquisition, build our brand, engage our members, and bring technology and solutions um, to Zipcar to help us build our business. And looking forward to the future, what are the opportunities for Zipcar? I mean, at the moment, we're looking at the remote mobility scene. Is, is that the uh, only area that Zipcar's going to be involved in, or will it move into other areas, do you think? So Zipcar's core business is all about urban mobility. Um, we were founded 15 years ago in Boston, Massachusetts, and we've really grown into many different markets. We currently have the largest global footprint, um, and we're continuing to expand. Um, you know, as you think about sharing, Zipcar really did start some of the disruptive sharing of movement and focused on mobility. There is a possibility that we go beyond that, but really our focus is about urban mobility um, and that starts with vehicles. And the new technology that we see all around us here, how is that going to affect your uh, business in as much as uh, the, the cars themselves being more intuitive, more smarter? Uh, will you see this as becoming an asset for your business? Absolutely. So as, as Zipcar looks towards the future, we are really excited to get into the space of connected and autonomous vehicles. Um, we have in the past been very much involved in telematics and making sure that the car is communicating back to our fleet management system and to members knowing when they have a reservation. As we look to the future, um, mobility will increasingly be about connected vehicles and autonomous vehicles. And that really sets us up for success. Zipcar is um, very well versed and knows how to manage a fleet. When you think about autonomous vehicles, you might think about, oh, it's a great replacement for things such as um, big trucking industries or even um, taxi services. But we think about it as if you are operating autonomous vehicles, um, you're probably going to need to have someone who owns those fleets. We operate our own fleets and we foresee that there, that could be part of our business model in the future. Um, Zipcar is not developing our own autonomous vehicles. We'll be working with the people who do to help bring those services to people, both urban areas and potentially down the road, um, non-urban areas as well. Uh, but, and looking forward again, what about the challenges? Because obviously there are going to be challenges, maybe for other competitors, maybe sparked by the way people use cars in the future. Uh, do, how do you see Zipcar facing those challenges? There are challenges for the future. As we think about the future of connected vehicles and autonomous vehicles, um, you know, we one of the struggles that we deal with is interoperability. When you think about um, auto manufacturers, often are thinking about a one-to-one -one relationship, one car for every person. Um, Zipcar thinks very differently. We think about one car for 50, maybe even more members using that vehicle. And so you think about different solutions for the future. As we think about the challenges, the challenges are making sure that both Zipcar and the auto manufacturing industry is keeping up with that, not only one-to-one, -one, there will always be some level of that, but also the one-to-many. As we are here in the TU uh, Automotive of Detroit, what does Zipcar get out of being here? What's the benefit to Zipcar? Yeah, Zipcar is very involved in mobility for the future. We are all about mobility, um, both in urban spaces and non-urban spaces. Um, we are partnering with the University of Michigan, the Mobility Transformation Center, um, to be part of the future. And where we care about it is making sure that city governments and policymakers are making smart decisions about how people are going to get around cities in the future. Um, we know that Zipcar is never going to be the only solution, but neither is public transportation. So we need to plan for that future, and Zipcar um, has a history of taking an active role and wants to maintain that active role in shaping the future of urban areas. Excellent. Thank you for talking to me.
Thank you. Okay.